Hello and welcome to Daily Disney News. Now first of all, I'd just like to apologise for the lack of updates over the last couple of days. As some of you may know if you've been watching the show recently, or if you follow me on Twitter, I have moved down to London, I am here for university and so I've been kind of getting settled in over the past few days, not a chance to make a video. However, um, hopefully I'll get around to making more shows um, now that um, it's kind of calmed down over the past few days. Um, also, apologize for the lighting, lighting does look pretty awful, but I'm still trying to figure out where the best place to do the videos in my new room is, so um, hopefully you can bear with the, the lighting for today, um, and so hopefully that's not too much of a big deal. But um, we've got some news to share with you today, some pretty interesting stuff um, has been announced and I really can't wait to share it with you. And I've picked out just my top three news stories over the past couple of days. So let's get started. And we're starting off at Disney's Soda Fountain in Hollywood. Now Disney's Soda Fountain and Studio Store has been kind of the center for um, Disney in uh, on Hollywood Boulevard in California for um, quite a long time now with the El Capitan Theater and everything. However, there are gonna be some big changes coming up at the, um, at the store over the coming months. Now, it was announced this weekend that Ghirardelli's Chocolate Store is going to be taking over the running of this, um, the soda fountain to turn that into Ghirardelli's Soda Fountain. Now, it will still be kind of, um, it will still be Disney owned um, and it will still sell Disney items and everything like that. However, it will, um, it will be having the kind of the, the food and um, the beverages will be supplied by Gerard Delis. Now, um, this is, um, it was kind of a big shot really, I didn't really expect this um, to happen and um, I know lots of people have kind of um, been a bit concerned over what this kind of means for the studio store and El Capitan in particular. Now, from what we've heard, there's no, not going to be any really big changes and in terms of um, how the studio store and El Capitan are going to be run. It's just going to be the um, the soda fountain, which will now sell Ghirardelli's sundaes, floats, um, and of course chocolate, so stuff like that. And um, of course, Pin Trader Delights, pins and sundaes, they will um, still be served and still be able to purchase them at the new Ghirardelli's, which is great news. And um, this is all going to come around quite fast because the Current store is going to be closing this month, Sunday 29th of um, September is when it's going to be closing and it's going to have a six week renovation into the new Girard Delis to be reopening on the 15th of um, for 15th of November which is a Friday, grand opening is going to be happening then and during that time they will still be doing pin releases and they will be um, kind of available from the El Capitan Theatre instead because of course Disney Center Manson has the, the biggest kind of um, pin releases really constant stream of pin releases um, and that gets, gets the biggest amount of attention really in um, in terms of uh, numbers of people who uh, who go to go to go to Hollywood Boulevard every Saturday for these pin releases so um, that's um, that's going to be taking place at the El Capitan. So um, really interesting news that they kind of decided to go with Gordelli's to kind of change this around a bit. Um, we'll wait and see what this really does mean for the future of it but that's what that's what we've been given up to now and it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what does happen. So I'll keep you posted on the updates from that as I get it. Okay, next up, it was announced yesterday that um, Disney has found their cast for the upcoming 2014 musical of Disney's 1992 animated classic Aladdin. Now, um, possibly the biggest casting announcement has been who is going to be playing Jafar and um, the character Jafar is going to be played by none other than Jonathan Freeman, who actually voiced Jafar in the original animated classic, which is fantastic news. I think it's wonderful that they've got Jonathan Freeman back on board for the musical. Amazing, amazing actor. I think he did such a good job as Aladdin in the um, in the in the movie that this is just going to be such perfect casting, and so so excited to see um, to see what happens there. Now we also have the um, the cast members for the remaining um, main characters. We have Adam Jacobs is going to be playing Aladdin. We have James Monroe Inglehart as um, the genie and Courtney Reed is going to be playing Jasmine. So um, quite big news that they've got um, got them principal cast for the upcoming production of Aladdin which is going to be taking um, well it started uh, rehearsals I believe and the kind of the initial previews are going to be taking place in Toronto before the grand opening next March, I believe, at the New Amsterdam Theatre 
in Bo on Broadway. So um, very exciting stuff there from Aladdin and um, so it's all moving forward and it's great, great news there. And our last piece of news for today is that some of you may have seen on the internet if you are a Once Upon a Time fan that they have, well they did release kind of the promotional cast photos for season 3 of Once Upon a Time last, um, it was on Saturday actually I believe. And that was all well and good, but then there was a big uproar from fans that these uh, these photos were kind of um, unsatisfactory, they did not look good, they looked very photoshopped, they um, were not kind of up to the standard that we expect from once upon a time. And ABC actually went and pulled these images from the internet, from their site, from um, a whole host of websites, and um, so that was really, really quite a shock that they've had to do that because because of what the fans have said, and so I'd like to just mention what I think about these pictures. Now, I do agree, I do think that they they are not amazing, and they are not, um, kind of, uh, they are, they, there's something about them that kind of doesn't have that really once part time feel to them, and I have to say that I don't, I don't particularly like them. And, but then, just because some people don't like them doesn't really normally mean that the, the studio's gonna pull the, um, the photos from the internet. But it's really, really interesting to see what has happened here. And I think this just going to show how big of um, an importance the, the online community for Once Upon a Time really is. And I'm sure it is for most shows, but you don't normally get this kind of, um, such a quick response from the fans and then such an even bigger response from ABC that's um, kind of caused them to be pulled. And we don't know what's going to be happening in terms of the, the um, if there's going to be some new promotional photos, if they're going to try and edit them a bit better and kind of uh, put them back out there but um, I will keep you updated on that. But they did actually release this morning a new Hook um, character picture, and so that looks a lot better, and um, so hopefully we'll get a few more from that, and I will um, leave a link to that image, and also to the the, um, the original images down below. So um, let me know what you think about that, and let me know what you think of all today's stories. We had that Disney Soda Fountain is turning into a Gerardelli's very soon. We had the announcement of Disney's Aladdin's, um, the cast for the musical for next year, including Jonathan Freeman as Jafar, and finally the Once Upon a Time cast photos, which were pulled by ABC this weekend. So um, there we go, those are the news stories. I really hope you enjoyed today's show. This has been Daily Disney News, I am Joe Worthington, aka Quillers for Coat, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon, goodbye.